Hello, this is Mark with the OpenShift team at Red Hat, and today I would like to show you how to use MongoDB with OpenShift Express. We're going to be using the Red Hat Cloud command line tools to do this. The command to create an application is rhc create app t wsgi 3.2, which specifies that this is a Python application, a twt, which names the application that we're about to create. If you have any issues or problems or questions about OpenShift, please contact us on IRC at Pound OpenShift on the Freenode network or on our forums at redhat.com slash openshift. The application container has been created on the OpenShift servers, a DNS entry has been propagated worldwide, and a Git repository has been created locally with the same name as our application. If we browse to the URL that was given for this application, we will see the default OpenShift application running. Now let's add MongoDB. The command to do that is RHC CTL app for control application dash A TWT to specify which application we're changing dash E add MongoDB dash 2.0. This will install the Mongo cartridge to the existing TWT application. The cartridge has been added and the MongoDB database has been populated with a root user. Let's save these credentials off in case we need them later. Now Let's load a more interesting application into it. Over at GitHub, in the OpenShift project, there are many interesting quick starts, demos, and examples. There's a demo we're doing right now. We'll follow the quick start instructions and add a git remote to our local repository. And then, also following the instructions, we will pull the project down from GitHub and merge and overwrite it into the one we have locally. Now with the simple git push, the application is sent to the OpenShift servers. If we browse back to the URL for our application, we will see that our desired app is now running. This is a simple Twitter clone. Let's sign up and play with a little bit. If somebody else goes to the same URL, and also signs up, they can see our tweet stream and we can swap messages back and forth. This application is storing its messages and its users not in a MySQL database and not in a file system, but is storing it in MongoDB objects. Let's take a look under the hood and see a little bit about what's going on. Because the application is stored in a local Git repository, we can just look read the source here. Notice we are importing PyMongo. PyMongo is the Python accessor class for MongoDB. There are accessor classes in every language supported by OpenShift for accessing Mongo. The OpenShift environment sets up environment variables that the application can use. For example, we are connecting to the Mongo database using the OpenShift NoSQL DB host and OpenShift NoSQL DB port environment variables, and then authenticating to it using the OpenShift NoSQL DB username and OpenShift NoSQL DB password. Because this is OpenShift, these applications are very easy to change and update. 
Let's change the background image. The background image is kept in the CSS file here. Let's put in a more interesting image. If I say get status, git will detect that we have changed the file. If I then commit it, that is committed to the local repository, and then with the git push, the local repository is pushed up to the OpenShift servers. Now, if I reload the application, we'll see that the background has changed. And that is MongoDB and OpenShift Express. Again, if you have any questions about this demo or about MongoDB on OpenShift, please contact us at redhat.com slash openshift or on IRC at the Pound OpenShift channel on the Freenode network or on Twitter at, at OpenShift. Thank you very much.